Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at routing policy. Specifically within routing policies, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic routing policy on a Juniper router. So in this example, we're going to have two routers, router 1 and router 2. We're going to connect these routers together using logical tunnel interfaces. And so these two routers are going to be logical systems within a single physical Juniper router. So if you're not familiar with logical systems or how to set those up, you can look at my logical systems videos to learn how to do that. Also, in this video, what I'm going to do is show you or explain to you some of the basics of routing policies. So routing policies on a Juniper are similar to what route maps are on Cisco devices. And if you're familiar with the Cisco iOS and how route maps work, you know then that you can manipulate a lot of routing protocol rules and a lot of routing um, options with route maps. So what we're going to see in the Juniper devices, what routing policies allow us to do is they allow us to control routing information based on the routing protocols. And this can be used in the routing and forwarding tables. So what we're going to see is that routing policies allow us to manipulate things such as the route preference or the next hop. They will all allow us also to put tags on routes and a lot of other options. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to lay a solid foundation on the basics of routing policy. We're going to show you how to set up routing policy and what better of a protocol to show you this than Border Gateway Protocol or BGP. So in this lab we're going to have BGP. Router 1 is going to be in BGP Autonomous System 100 and Router 2 is going to be in BGP Autonomous System 200. So I'm going to set this lab up from the ground up, so everything from the interfaces to BGP, and then we're going to show you how we are going to export our directly connected interfaces on router 2 into BGP, and also, and also export our directly connected interfaces on R1 into BGP. And we're going to do this with a routing policy and then in the next part of the lab, I'm going to show you how to use the import routing policy on R1. So we're going to import a routing policy based on router 2's subnets that it's sending us. And we're going to manipulate some of these networks, like the 2 network, the 22 network, and the 222 network. We're going to use a routing policy to manipulate all of these routes differently. So this is going to be a really cool lab to show you some really some cool things you can do with routing policies on Juniper router. And if you're familiar with a Juniper firewall filter, then we're going to see that a, rout a routing policy is created in the same steps. So we have four main things that we have to do to create a basic routing policy. The first one is to name the routing policy. The second option we have is going to be to create different terms within the routing policy. And then each term we have things that we need to match or what we're going to call or what we're going to use from. We're going to use the from statement to do that and then we're going to have our actions to take once we have a match. And our action is going to be specified in the then statement. So four key things that we have to do. We have to name it, create our terms, and then inside our terms we have two more things. We have to set our match statements and then our actions, our from and thens. So I'm going to show you how to do all of this. And Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fly through this pretty quickly how to set up. I'm going to set up the, I'm sorry, let me explain our network diagram again. We have R1 and R2. 
the interface between them is the logical tunnel 